Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some lightning colours, how fast Godspeed's potentially going to be. So a bit of theorising, a bit of analysing what happens in the comics, what's happened in the TV show so far, in terms of all the different speedsters. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... This is a really interesting topic, and everyone's been talking about this for years, especially once we got to the Accelerator Man, but also when we got to Zoom when he had his blue lightning. So, we're going to be talking about how fast can Godspeed run. So, we're theorizing about when he shows up next episode on the show, how fast is he going to be able to run. So, this was stated by a Flash comic book writer, and again, I have to emphasize the comic books don't follow the TV show and the TV show doesn't strictly follow the comic book rules but I'm using it as an example because sometimes they follow the rules so a flash comic book writer was quoted saying the closer you go to light speed the color shifts and this is seen in various like spectrum scales of visible color and I'll have one on the screen right now so as you can see it goes purple blue green yellow orange red doesn't 100% line up with how the Flash comics exactly use it, but it's very similar. They just tend to switch the orange and yellow around, so yellow is a bit slower and orange is a bit faster because we have, like, for yellow in the comics, there's Wally West at various different points and some other species who are a little bit slower than, say, Barry Allen, who has orange lightning. And this actually applies to the TV show because... Barry has orange lightning, he's faster than Wally, and Wally has yellow lightning, along with Jesse Quick. But we'll talk about the lightning colours on the TV show in a sec. So, we know from Season 2, there was that episode where they find out about Jay, and I believe it was maybe the episode or the episode after the trajectory episode, where we get the explanation about the blue lightning and how it's created. Obviously, to do with Velocity 9, and... We'll talk about that a bit in a sec, but speedsters can change their lightning colours, and I will give an example, but like I said, just quickly going back to that first quote, the closer you go to light speed, the colour shifts, so if a speedster wants to speed up, they can change their lightning, if they are already that fast, they can slow down their lightning, and this is as evidence with Zoom when he was using his blue lightning, but then when he was, you know, his different version of himself but he was pretending to be Jay Garrick he still had the ability to use that blue lightning but he was using his normal lightning the yellowy orange lightning because he slowed himself down so that's been proven on the TV show that speedsters can change their lightning but also if you go all the way back to season one where we get the scene and we've repeated the scene many times when Nora Allen's killed we see future Barry and his colour of lightning is actually yellow inside the house when he's punching reverse flash in slow motion. If you remember that shot, I have a photo on the screen right now. And the thing is, he starts off with orange lightning as he runs down the street and then he slows down in Barry's childhood home when he's fighting reverse flash and his lightning's yellow. And you have to remember, on the TV show... And in the comics, everything's done specifically. They wouldn't have just screwed that up. They wouldn't have just gone like, oh yeah, yellow, orange, same thing, whatever. Because the lightning colours are very specific on the show. So he slows down in that instance. And I think that's very interesting to note because I don't think everyone knows that. But it seems like that's probably what's happening in that scene. So there is a possibility that, say, Godspeed, when he arrives, he can manipulate how fast... Maybe we think of him because maybe his lightning's a different colour because he slows down or something like that. So going off the comics and the TV show, Red is the slowest, as I previously mentioned. It's the slowest and we know Wally West in the New 52, the newer version of himself, he is in fact got Red Lightning and he's probably one of the slowest speedsters out there. He's new and everything so he has the Red Lightning and... Also, at the same time, another species that has red lightning is Reverse Flash. 
but that is not because he's a slower speedster, he's as fast as Barry, he's just as fast as Barry and that's been proven many times over, but he has the negative speed force so that appears red. In the TV show we obviously have him with red lightning but also we had the rival and I think there's definitely the negative speed force because there would be no reason for them to actually give reverse flash or the rival red lightning if they were going to be slower because it doesn't make any sense because they're just as fast well at least reverse flash is the rival was still faster than Wally who had yellow lightning so on the TV show we have for the yellow lightning section of speedsters we have Jesse and Wally for example so they're somewhere in between red and orange and orange is Barry so they are fast but not super fast they are getting there to that level of orange lightning which is like that means you're fast but then obviously there's other ones beyond that but so yellow in the comics is about the same as it is in the TV show so that kind of corresponds but Barry has orange lightning in the comics and in the TV show which is one of the faster lightning colors that just comes below a lot of these other ones but comes above you know the kind of beginner standards this is you know the experience standards you are fast but you're not ultra fast but you're not slow either so we move on to the next bit and so blue lightning now this was something that was heavily touched upon in season two when we had zoom around because everyone was like how does zoom have blue lightning like what the hell it looks so cool but how does he have it so they explain it later in the season so it's all to do with velocity 9 and so it was this formula that they created basically the blue lightning is created by speed enhancements and so that's why trajectory actually had blue lightning because she was able to use that lightning and she just you know jacked up herself on speed, speed force energy in order to make herself more powerful and therefore her lightning changed and it changed to blue and she overloaded on it because it was just way too much for her to handle and so zoom had blue lightning as well so that is definitely faster than orange lightning and it follows the scale it definitely follows the way that it's supposed to go in the comics and in terms of the color spectrum of the visible colors and so moving on we have purple lightning so this is probably around the same as blue maybe just around the same it could be a tiny bit slower or it could be a tiny bit faster this is a bit uncertain but in terms of the color scale that is right at the end actually of the visible spectrum so technically it should be faster but we haven't really seen it too much on the TV show or in the comics really but in the TV show we saw it with Earth 19 Flash the accelerator man for a very brief period of time he's only appeared once in the flesh and once in just a quick run by I think that was during season four actually and so finally the last lightning color which is not on the visible color spectrum because it's not a visible color technically but it's white lining so this is perhaps the combination of all the colors so that would mean it's the ultimate speeds the level the fastest that you can get and that is obviously we've seen Savitar he had white lining some people got a bit confused thinking oh it's blue lightning but it's not blue lightning he didn't take velocity 9 or anything that was how they explained it on the TV show and if you look carefully at Savitar's lightning it was white lining but it had like blue streaks because of his suit on the outside that's why it kind of looked like a bit of a blend and that's why when Godspeed premieres next episode and he will probably have his comic book lightning which is white which means he's super fast we'll talk about that in a sec but that means he's going to have a bit of a yellowy streak to his lightning but it will be white if they follow the comic books so that means he will be one of the fastest speedsters perhaps on par or even further than Savitar that's what's to expect because in the comics he kills all these speedsters he absorbs their powers and therefore he gets more powerful and we know on the TV show he's killing at least this one speedster called Leah who is from another earth she's a speedster and she is the version of the flash from her earth and Godspeed kills her so I'm presuming he's doing what he's doing in the comics he kills loads of speedsters he gets all the powers and he becomes the fastest speedster even faster 
than say Savitar. So I'm really looking forward to next episode. That's what's to expect. He's probably going to have his comic book accurate lightning because he has the comic book accurate suit. So I don't see why he would have blue lightning or I don't see why he would have orange lightning or anything like that because number one it wouldn't match up with the suit but number two if it's not comic book accurate I don't see why he would pose a bigger threat to Barry if he had say red or orange lightning like Barry has like Barry has the orange lightning so yeah it makes sense if they do go for the comic book accurate white lightning because that makes him more powerful more fast just like Savitar so thank you guys so much for watching Hopefully you liked this video, this was a bit different from my recent videos, so this was a bit of an explainer, bit of just breaking down to do with the comics and the TV show, so if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, also subscribe and turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the DC TV show, also Instagram, and also finally, please be sure to get the Amino app on your iPhone, Android or anything, it would mean so much to me, I'm working with them right now, and if you guys can follow me, at the DC TV show there you can see my videos I post some face cam videos of me doing top five lists to do with the DCEU my rankings but also my top five favorite flash villains you can guess who my favorite flash villain is but go do that you can send in your own top fives to me and other videos that you want to send over on the Amino app so please be sure to get it it's all free and it would mean a lot to me so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye